Clearly we're excited about CAR-T. I think it's transformed our approach for chemorefractory large cell. I think Lysacel should be a consideration for follicular because the safety looks so incredible, but it's underutilized. And so why is that? I think awareness is one thing, but access is another major issue. And really that transition from a community hematologist to a certified center, and then potentially back because we should be partners in this. So we're gonna walk through not only the data that support the indication where it should be considered, but how do you formulate a working relationship with the community oncologist where these patients are gonna start, they're gonna to go to that referring center for a period of time, and then they're gonna go back to the community oncologist. So recognizing who should be referred and when, how do you co-manage them? Oftentimes they're gonna give bridging while we're waiting on manufacturing to be completed. And then what do you look at in terms of toxicity beyond the first 30 days? I mean, we spend a lot of time talking about CRS and neurotoxicity, but really more of what's gonna be managed is cytopenias, risk of infection, and then how do you look for second cancers and do surveillance for a large portion of patients that are likely going to be cured. And so it is a partnership and we're gonna kind of walk through some of those logistical challenges.